Well, angry uh, mob of junkies corner of the us up against the wall. They're poised to beat him with big sticks. But Valerie shows them who is the resident Cleopatra in the ruins. Mm. She throws her body between Vias and his attackers to shield him. And because she's Valerie, that stops them cold. Mm. Vias is smitten with Valerie, his rescuer. She's so skinny. And he feels that Eddie, her father, should offer Valerie to him as his bride, as his virgin bride. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eddie, uh, Eddie, look, Vios is following us again, uh, warns Valerie. They briskly walk away on Andrew and Oh, there's uh, Vias yeah, on a sand dune. He's uh, making exaggerated arm motions to ships on the Arabian Sea that do not exist. He's planning uh, his honeymoon getaway with Valerie. Okay. Portrait of a flip out in the ruins, starring Vias, Valerie, Eddie. And Chris. Now, these are Eddie's own words. What follows here? Yeah. Uh, Valerie and I are awakened before dawn by Via standing before the porch of the ruins, uh, saying, Oh, Valerie, I have suffered for you. I mean, today I went to Mopsa to look for you. But not finding you, I became furious and, well, the police picked me up, beat me viciously and did not release me until midnight. I have walked, I'm saying, 11 kilometers from Mopsa in the dark, hearing the snarls of wild animals nearby. I have, and mosquitoes. <laughs> it's the tropics. All because of you. Oh, well, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Vias notices uh, my hand resting on Valerie's thigh, says Eddie. Uh, Take your filthy ha hand off my love. My hand remains on Valerie's thigh. Vias rushes toward the steps leading to the porch, but stops to pick up a, a large rock. The time has come to crack the coconut. Mm -hmm. He says with a rock uh, hoisted above uh, my head, we're going all the way, Rios and I. I am not removing my hand from Valerie's thigh. And Viam is determined to crush the stone on my head. Oh, without warning, Chris and a second freak charge Vias from behind, push him forward, push him off the porch. And uh, Vias comes back with a large pole aiming it at me. He lunges forward. Chris and the boy, uh, they hold up a blanket to shield me from the spear, the oncoming death lands. Now Chris jumps up the porch, holds uh, Vias and some of the others to wake up and help Chris tie him up to a coconut tree. Val Valerie ins inspects the rope that binds him and tightens it even tighter. I mean, we actually had to tie people up to coconut trees. You know, put them in a sleeping bag so they couldn't get out for a while. Yeah. Well, well. Finally, Joe Banana innocently uh, wanders onto the stage in the closing scene, and uh, he left, you finally got him, huh? Good. He makes too much trouble in my shop. I'll take him to Mopsa. 
They'll ship them off to the mental hospital. The stars are still glimmering just as it's becoming dawn. Tropical pre-dawn. Valerie embraces Eddie. And they go back to sleep. Yeah. Well, I've talked about, you know, a lot about how pristine the beaches, and Juno Beach was. You've heard about that. And uh, so being I've got the, the mirror out, and none of my friends have any money and can't get uh, the book. Uh, just I will somehow try to show you. There it is. That's L.A. Gary. I shot this photograph myself uh, just before our Christmas party, which you're going to hear about right now. I mean, we're up to Chapter 28. Only two more to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, look, Eddie is immune to the psychodrama around him. Yeah. He's just, like, really happy to be back from Afghanistan. Yeah. And he settles into his tropical beach lifestyle in the ruins. And tonight is Christmas Eve in Goa.